the following past paper question reads that which graph correctly shows the relative melting points of the elements Mg, Al, Si and Phosphorus plotted against their relative first ionization energies. So uh, you're, given, you're given four graphs and you have to figure out which of the graphs is the correct graph. So this over here, this axis over here is the first ionization energy of the four elements. And I'm going to focus on this uh, horizontal axis first. Let's uh, look at the ionization energies, the first ionization energies of Mg, Al, Si and Phosphorus. They are consecutive, they have consecutive proton numbers. Across the period, the ionization energy increases except for the fact that uh, aluminium's ionization energy is going to be lower than magnesium. Then it would rise again to silicon, then phosphorus. So if I were to uh, uh, figure out which one has the least ionization energy, that would be aluminium followed by magnesium, then silicon and then phosphorus. So the order is going to be the lowest Al, Mg, Si and P. So aluminium has the lowest first ionization energy. Now, now focus on the horizontal axis. Aluminium would have the lowest ionization energy, so that element should be closer to the bottom of this axis. Over here, this option would be incorrect because aluminium is coming in, it's coming in at second position. Uh, option D is also going to be correct if you focus on the horizontal axis. Aluminium should have the lowest ionization energy, so if you focus on the ionization energies of aluminium and magnesium, uh, aluminium should have been the lowest. So that would only leave us with option C and option D. If you start plotting the ionization energies, so it is aluminium followed by magnesium's ionization energy, then you have silicon's first ionization energy and then phosphorus. So this is the correct order. This option is also going to be correct. It would be Al, Mg, then there would be Si would have a higher ionization energy then followed by phosphorus as having the highest ionization energy. So, so the horizontal axis in both cases is correct. The first ionization energy is plotted correctly. Now I'm going to focus on the vertical axis which is the melting point. Now one cue that we can take is that uh, uh, you have two metals, one non-metal. Now focus on the horizontal axis. The non-metal forms a simple molecule, so that has the lowest uh, melting point. Metals have high melting points, uh, so these two have relatively high melting points. Silicon is a macromolecular structure or giant covalent structure, so that would have the highest melting point. So option C looks perfectly correct because silicon would have the highest melting point. Phosphorus forms simple molecules, uh, the molecule is P4, so that has the lowest melting point and the metals over here, they have the uh, intermediate or they have relatively high melting points as well, but not as high as silicon. So this graph, option C is going to be correct because the horizontal, uh, horizontal axis is plotted correctly, aluminium having the lowest ionization energy followed by magnesium, then silicon, then phosphorus and the melting points, the vertical axis is also correct. Phosphorus having the lowest melting point, aluminium, magnesium having the second highest and silicon having the highest because it is a macromolecular structure. So the correct answer for this question is going to be option C.